Oh fuck, he's an idiot. He is a mother flipping idiot. Good morning. We are off for a drive because we're not going to have breakfast over here. Got me going, baby. Got me going, baby. We're here and they already set up the tables for us. These are just wild parrots. Let me zoom in for you. Look at this. They live here. This is so cute. He's eating the hammock. No, you're not supposed to eat that. So these are the most wanted parrots uh, in no Brazil really and they can the remember we up to 200 12. words. And these parrots, uh, they are released them. from we captivity have, uh, and uh, well, kind of reintegrated into nature. Ten they won't be able to fully integrate, but uh, like Mr. Free, he wants to eat the camera. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> they teach the other ones how to find <laughs> He wants a selfie. Come on, make a selfie of me, man. Make a selfie, come on. I want a selfie. <laughs> We are going Sorry. canoeing and ah, ah, <laughs> I just fell in a hole. Uh, so the canoes are over here. Unfortunately, I can't take the camera with me because the risk of it getting wet is just too high. So what have we got here? I have a bijsturen. Can we lift it by? No, 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 no. I'm not going to lift it. No, I'm going to hold my arm. We just came back and it was a lot of fun. All the activities here are based on local traditions. So for instance, the fishermen in their canoes and later on we are going horseback riding on the traditional Pantanal horses. And this guy, unfortunately, I didn't know he had a death wish. Eric over here, he swam, he went swimming. And right now he is trying to annoy this caiman over here. Now I put my finger in his ass. Yes, is that your fantasy? Oh my gosh. They're all idiots. Wow. He was driving our canoe into a croc. I'm not joking. I went mental. I was like, I do not want to lose my arm. But he apparently wants to offer up his leg. I'm just filming this just in case Eric gets bitten. I can sell this footage to National Geographic. Or get millions of YouTube views. Man gets bitten by croc. Let's see. <laughs> this uh, he is nuts. I'm not sure. <laughs> Come on, Eric. No guts, no glory. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Oh fuck, he's an idiot. He is a mother flipping idiot. <laughs> wow. Man loses arms. It's just a pet. It's just a pet. This is like a two meter long caiman. What the F? So they have an interesting practice here. They keep their children in cages. <laughs> and um, yeah, when they're old enough, they're ready to be sold. And as you can see, they feed them like, they put on something the on the, on the <laughs> fence so the kids can lick it when they're thirsty. You know, they don't give them regular water. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, this is the cage where they receive the parrots. And uh, first the parrots need to, uh, you know, catch their breath because they're quite stressed from the transportation. So they leave them in here for three to five days. By Monday, Andre, the owner, he will receive 52 parrots, which are saved and uh, are going to be re rehabilitated. This is incredible. Also, there's a cowboy swimming with a horse over there. Just a nice dip. <laughs> so Andre, he has 150 horses you have, right? <laughs> yes. And only some of them he's training for a uh, fair coming up in yeah. June. June. June and July is our next yeah. And he usually has the champions. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Beto wants us to try this soda. What is it? Guarana? It's called Guarana. Antarctica. Okay. It's a Brazilian fruit. Go ahead. It's stimulating like... Uh, are there energy drinks, stuff like that? It is. Tastes freaking good though. What is it? It's a soda I love all those soda. energy drinks. Well, I just can't drink them I because they soda. make me overhyped. Yes. Unless I need to work a lot, then it's good. It's nice. Mm. Is it nice? We're back and lunch is being served early, but we have a couple of more minutes, so I'm just going to 
Hang out in the hammock. Lunch! Oh man, lots and lots of delicious vegetarian food. Well, hello again. I just woke up from a wonderful nap. I was so tired, I didn't even have the strength and energy to grab my camera to tell you I was going to take a nap. And I slept for two hours, which was wonderful. Now, the half of the group is horseback riding. I don't like to do that, so I didn't join them. The other half of the group is fishing. I don't like to do that either. So, we're going hiking, finally. I have been told to stay on the roads because otherwise I will get lost. And this is one hell of a big, well, it's not a swamp, it's a wetland. And it's different because a wetland, you know, it gets, it has a dry season and a swamp is always wet. So that's quite cool. And now a lot of the areas are still wet because it's just right after the rainy season. But uh, yeah, I can still hike on the roads and stuff like that. So let's see if we can... Oh, parrots! Cute. Let's see if we can find some cool animals. Well, hello, big birdies. No, please don't attack me. They're... Uh, they're scared of me. They're family from the ostrich. And they're called... Uh, what is it? The Rai? Something like that? Big birds, big birds. They're like almost as tall as I am. And here's another one. Look, it's an ohm sign. The owner actually went to India to learn how to meditate, so that's quite cool. Seriously, this is my happy place. Warm weather, nature, silence, apart from the animal sounds, it's just... It feels like my soul is being <laughs> recharged or something, or that it's like defrosting and I'm becoming myself again. It's just <sighs> such a... Such an amazing feeling to be here. I think I mentioned it before, but Arara's Lodge was the first eco-lodge in Brazil. And the theory of the owner or the philosophy of the owner is to work together with the locals and incorporate local culture and everything he does and work with nature instead of overpowering it. It's just, it's so inspiring to see their work. Oh my gosh, this is like a local restaurant. So cute! We're in Brazil! I found the others! They're just gonna start their horseback ride from here. This is Shakira. This is Shakira? Yeah. She's called Shakira? Yeah. Well, hello Shakira. Sexy hair. <laughs> Are you gonna shake your hips too? <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Look, I found another caiman. He's just sunbathing. It's a small one. Look at him. So cute. Well, actually not so cute if you get too close, but from the right distance, they're very cute. Hello, little baby cows. There are two of them. Let's see if they want to hug. <laughs> you know, I'm a cow stalker. <laughs> there was this cow in Delhi and it was looking so annoyed at me. Oh, no, you don't want to. I can't hug you. I won't hurt you. Oh, there's a car coming out, so. Hey. No? Okay, but please cross before the car comes. There's a car coming over there. Go. Oh, you're just gonna shit here? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, do your thing, baby. Hashtag, I love cows. I'm just heading back because I still have to take a shower and pack before we leave for Cuyaba. In case you want to visit Pantanal yourself, they have four seasons, but you can visit it uh, throughout the whole year. Every season has something different to offer. If you're curious, just check out the website of the Arara Lodge. The link is down in the description below. Rock, rock, monkeys! Oh, look at them jumping. I like them at a distance. Is he gonna jump? Is he gonna jump? They have babies. What? Look at it. That's cool. You're gonna jump too? One, two, three, four, no, no, too high. And I'm back. Uh, so sad to leave. I would have loved to stay longer here. It's such a wonderful place, but we have new adventures to attend to. So let's go back to Cuyabas. We just got back to the same hotel, and this room looks a little bit different because I have a big window over here. And yeah, the bathroom is a little bit different. There's still like a shower and stuff. 
I'm just going to go to bed because I'm exhausted. It's 9 p.m. and tomorrow we leave at 7. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Put a thumbs up if you did. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. And then we're going to another national park in Mato Grosso, Brazil tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.